G'day guys and welcome back to Montage Sports and in today's video I will be reviewing the 2021 Brownlow medal. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Let's get straight into it. So unbelievable scenes last night. Ollie Wines taking Charlie home. He's a 2021 Brownlow medalist. It's hard for that to sink in. Unbelievable player. And he's um, Port Adelaide's first Brownlow medalist. They've been in the AFL for 25 years. They've been... As the Dana Club, Santa Fe AFL for 150 years. And now Ollie Wines, in their 25th year in the AFL, has taken Charlie home. Uh, he's an unbelievable player. So consistent, performs every week. He might not have a bigger in, the biggest impact, but he's a great player and he's got the better, best averages in the competition. I think he averaged 32 disposals all year. And that is an unbelievable feat. Um, an unbelievable feat. 32 disposals, average average for um one player is just outstanding. Ollie Wines, the young boy from Echuca, I think it is. I think it's called Echuca in country Victoria. And he's just a great player. I know everyone's going to say that, but he's just a great player. Um, now it's going to go through the uh, some of the other awards that were awarded last night. Goal of the year, Caleb Sarong. Unbelievable goal, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, but kept it in, being half tackled and one step and then snapping it from pretty much no angle, like 180 degrees. Unbelievable goal. Mark of the year, Shy Bolton. Um, great mark. Um, I, I voted for Jack Rewalt. I thought that was a better mark, but nonetheless, Shy Bolton's mark was amazing. Got so high. And unbelievable mark. And Jim Stein's Community Award. Travis spoke for helping um, going around to other hospitals and helping out sick, sick kids with cancer and other diseases. Great bloke, great man, and good stuff, Travis. Okay, so now we are going to have a look at each AFL club's um, leading vote getter at the end of the count. Adelaide Crows, Rory Laird um, coming. 17th with 16 votes. Yeah, Rory Laird, great player. I think he turned up to the Brownlow with Aaliyah Aaliyah from Port Adelaide, which was a bit weird, but um, they must be good friends. But yeah, 17th. I mean, it's all right for Adelaide Crows, but Rory Laird, 16th position, great player. Jared Lyons, no surprise. Lockie, I thought Lockie Neal, would have been, Lockie Neal definitely would have been up there if um, he didn't get injured, but... Joe Lyons, awesome player, came from equal ninth with 23 votes. Great stuff from Jared Lyons. Carlton Blues, Sam Walsh, surprise packet. I was kind of barracking for him. I wanted it to be like a three-way tie between Bontempelli, Walsh and Parrish. That would have been sick. Even um, if Lyons was in there, that would be awesome. But yeah, Sam Walsh, third season, I think he's, he's tw either 20 or 21. But yeah. Awesome stuff from Sam Walsh. He comes fourth with 30 votes in his third season. I reckon he'll definitely be up there. Unless he gets injured, for the, he'll definitely be up there for the Brownlow medal in years to come. Collingwood, Jack Crisp in 25th, 11 votes. Good for Jack Crisp. He's a half backman, but um, Collingwood, I, I'm the leading vote getter, 11, getting 11 votes. It's a bit... Um, I know they finished 17th, but just a bit... Not too good. Essendon, um, Darcy Parrish, equal fifth with 26 votes. That is um, unbelievable. He was leading um, halfway through, and he was getting three votes after three votes after three votes. And that was just unreal to be a part of. I was watching that on TV, and I was going off my nana because that was just so funny. It was so good. And um, Zach Merritt um, finishing close second at Essendon. I don't know how many votes he got. I think he might have gotten like 15 or something, but he had a, not his best year, but he had an awesome year. Fremantle, obviously, David Mundy. I think he's like 36, year, 36 years old or something. 20 votes and in equal 11th. That is amazing. I think he got the most votes ever by a player over 30 years old. And when he did get past that, everybody was cheering for him. Yeah, um, David Mundy, great player. I reckon he's going to play forever. If he keeps playing how he plays, he might be playing until he's 45 or 
like get past Barry Mojave's record. That would be amazing, <laughs> even though I'm a West Coast Eagles supporter. But um, now, Ge now Geelong, Cameron Guthrie with um, 18 votes in 13th. Um, another amazing player. I think he won the best of Ferris of Geelong. Definitely won it last year, and he is one of the best players. He's one of the um used to be one. He's like underrated because they got Dangerfield. They used to have Ablett. They have Selwood and um Hawkins and Jeremy Cameron, but he is such an underrated player, and that is why he gets the best and fairest every year. Gold Coast, pretty easy decision for the umpires. Took Miller fifteenth with twelve votes. Um. Yeah, amazing player. Although he's not on the best team, he's just an amazing player. A bit like um, Gary Ablett. Gary Gary Ablett almost um carried the Gold Coast Suns into the finals a few years back, twenty fourteen. GWS Jacob Hopper and Tim Taranto tie on fifteen. No, uh, yeah, fifteen votes. They have come. They came nineteenth, equal nineteenth, and then Jacob Hopper outstanding season, breakout season. Tim Taranto, another great season at the club. Hawthorne, Tom Mitchell, equal seventh with 25 votes. Another amazing player. Won the Brownlow in 2018 and um, does not stop piling on possessions and piling on votes. Great stuff for Tom Mitchell. Melbourne, Clayton Oliver, third with 31 votes. Mm. Thought he was going to win the Brownlow, to be honest. I'd rather Christian Petrarca be up there. He's probably my favourite player. He doesn't play for West Coast. I do kind of like Clayton Oliver, but he's frustrated with how good he is. Um, 31 votes. That is amazing. I think um, the Brown there was a Brownlow record of four players um, getting over um, 30 votes, which is a record, 94th year. Christian Petrarca, a close second. I think he had like something like 23 votes or something. North Melbourne, Ben Cunnington in 19th spot with... Equal 19th spot with 15 votes. He's definitely their best player this year. Wouldn't be surprised if he gets the best and fairest. He's been their best player for such a long time now and um, very, very experienced. Port Adelaide, um, Ollie Wines, obviously, first with 36 votes. Um, equal with the record. Dustin Martin had 36 the year he won at 2017, I think it was. Um and Travis Boak, a close second. I think Travis Boak ended up coming, like, sixth. He's always in that top six, Travis Boak, every single year. So underrated. And um, he's just an all-round great player. Can do anything. Richmond, Dustin Martin, surprisingly. 25th and 11 votes. He polled six votes in the first two rounds, Dustin Martin. And was a clear um, favourite for the Brownlow. But, yeah... He got injured like three times, missed the last seven rounds due to a bad kidney injury and um, didn't really quite get going. Sydney Swans, no, not Sydney Swans, we'll get, get to that later, but St Kilda, Jack Steele, equal fifth with 26 votes. Awesome player, he, he'd definitely be up there in the next coming years. St Kilda, if St Kilda win more games, then he'll definitely be up there and he might actually win the medal. Haven't, I think the last time... St Gilda won a medal was Robert Harvey and Tony Lockett back in the late 90s, I'm pretty sure. Sydney Swans, surprising. Callum Mills, 18 votes in 13th spot. Didn't really see much of him this season, but he is just a great player and um, very underrated like most of, these, most of these other players. West Coast Eagles, Oscar Allen. It was not Oscar Allen, but Oscar Allen... Po um, had six votes in the first couple of games and then didn't poll for the rest of the thing. But he was definitely the favourite. But the winner to the West Coast's um, most votes, Dom Sheed, 24th in the count, 13 votes. Um, great player. Didn't have his best season, but he has had a pretty good season. Been West Coast's best performer. Best and fairest was Nick Nanui, but I reckon that Dom Sheed should have gotten it. And um yeah, Oscar Allen, he had a, such a great start. Then he um think he broke his elbow in round seven and then didn't play his best footy for the rest of the season. But you can't really play your best footy when you have a broken elbow. And then finally, Western Bulldogs, obviously, Marcus Spontapelli, second to second spot, thirty three votes. If um he performed in that last game, he might have shared the Brownlow with Ollie Wines. 
but he only got 15 disposals and a goal in Western Bulldogs' two-point loss, I think it was, to Port Adelaide, which Ollie Wines um, got two votes. If he got three votes, Mike Spontapelli would have shared it, as I just said before. But, yeah, amazing count. It was, I think it was the most entertaining count I've been, I've watched and I've been a part of. But, yeah, just amazing. So entertaining. And I can't wait for next year. Can't wait for the grand final. Ollie Wines, congratulations on being, being the 2021 AFL Brownlow medalist. Thank you.